Okay, so Demon of the Week, and we're doing the 69th Spirit of the Goetia, Decabia or Decarabia. Welcome to my channel. You are entering the world of magic and mysticism with your host, Lee W. Johnson. Keep the lights on and help improve the channel by becoming a supporter for just $2.99 per month. Hit the join button. Okay, the Carbia. But everywhere else, people are referring to the spirit as Decarabia. There's also a Carabia. And Johannem also um, came up or, or discovered the name uh, Diamonosophia, but uh, I'll get to that just now. Okay, so the correspondence is we're almost finished actually, 69th of 72, so almost there. And then we'll go on to others. There's lots and lots, there's tons and tons of, of demons to actually um, have a look at, so it's, we're all good. Uh, date is February 9th to 18th, direction east, tarot, seven swords, planet moon, metal silver, element air, color purple or violet, plant lunaria. I've never heard of lunaria before. I was actually going to go and check what that was, and then I forgot, so sorry about that. You have to go and check on, on Google or something. Um, incense, jasmine, uh, zodiac is 20 to 30 degrees, Aquarius. And no other correspondences. The N is Hoesta Noc Ra de Carabia Secure. Okay, um, going in straight into the Goetia. <clears throat> he appeareth in the form of a star in a pentacle at first, but after, at the command of the exorcist, he putteth on the image of a man. His office is to discover the virtues of birds and precious stones and to make the similitude of all kinds of birds to fly before the exorcist, singing and drinking as natural birds do. Okay, so a very avian type of spirit. Um, if you do work with birds, um, this may be a good one if you're a bird lover or a bird watcher or anything like that. Um, or even into um, um, avionics, I think that's the word, uh, you know, you can learn a lot from birds, so uh, why not learn, discover the virtue of birds. Um, okay, so Connolly, um, Connolly's interpretation is very, very different. Um, to uncover or help hide deceptions, also seek out to free oneself of obstacles or situations holding you back. He can help the magician rise above the petty and the ego, even if only for a short time. So very, very different to what's written in the Goetia and what most other people are actually um, experiencing and saying about um, Decarabia. Uh, but it's worth worth noting. Now, you know, I said to reply to a comment today um, that you know, when we're working with the spirits, um, you'll find that people have different experiences. Um, so a particular spirit uh, may be very difficult for one person to work with, whereas another person, it's just it just comes naturally and easily. Um, and it's a very, very loving and caring, kind relationship. But this, the other, per the first person, just found it very difficult. Um, found them abrasive. Different experiences for different people, and it's exactly the same as me being somebody who makes some people happy and annoys the hell out of other people. Same person, just different experiences. It doesn't mean anybody's wrong. It just means that the experiences are different and personal. So, um, you've got to always remember that when you're reading descriptions about the spirits, um, the gods, the goddesses, the angels, the demons, all of it. Um, everybody's going to have different experiences. Um, okay, so Myrtle Wake said, uh, one that harms animals is not welcome unless it is done for food. Um, in other words, hunters who are hunting for food and not um, trophy hunting. 
um, neither male nor female and at the same time both uh, more engaged in whispering to the birds and trees rather than expanding their influence on people will work with all those requiring this expertise uh, even hunters providing they have a respect for nature and life um, Jahannam mentions um, introduced himself as a harbinger of ascent he's a scholar this is this is actually extremely different um, he's a scholar who bestows upon his apprentice the knowledge of aquatic life and femininity so we've gone from everybody um, else I mean apart from Connolly as I said but uh, the whole premise of birds avian um, type of nature into aquatic so I'm not sure where that came from um, it's quite an interesting uh, diversion really um, the spirit told VK that he would like to be known um, as Demonosophia so that's where that name comes from um, teaches about nature and its offspring its offspring being the elementals uh, okay and then uh, the Goesha ritual there's some interesting stuff here actually and again it's quite poetic um, appears in the form of a five-pointed star a pentagram. Um, this is their interpretation of the from the Gresha um, appears in the form of a star in a pentacle. Um, so you now this gets a bit difficult when it comes to pentagram versus pentacle. There's lots of different interpretations and I had a look at uh, various definitions and um, etymologies and things like that on the two words and really it's it's difficult to say who's right and who's wrong um, you know when I was when I was um, starting out and stuff the pentagram was a five-pointed star the pentacle is a five-pointed star within a circle um, which also refers to the pentacle the um, you know the shield the the um, magical item that you put on your altar usually made of clay or wood or something where the, the pentagram is inscribed on top of it it's used as the the symbol of earth um, so but you know a lot of people nowadays are saying that the have so many interpretations um, that the, the the I think it was the the pentagram is the upright and the pentacle is the um, inverted um, and just as I said just so many different um, interpretations of that so make of it what you will um, anyway coming back to that um, so appears in the form of a five-pointed star this refers to a symbol of significance and power its five points are that of the elements um, denoting Decabia's power over the elements um, that's the five elements um, uh, uh, Air, air, fire, water, earth, and spirit. Um, yeah, I had to think about that one. Had a brain fart. Um, goes on to say, within the mind's eye, he can flower either delicious dreams or thorny nightmares. Um, in reference to discovering the virtue of virtue of birds, uh, it says, free and unchained from the sky, making their their freedom an insult to us. I'm not sure how the freedom of birds can be an insult to us. But anyway, uh, through illusion, the demon can bring before the invocant birds as beautiful as jewels, singing songs sweet and wild, or birds monster-like with enormous fantastic beaks, opened wide and hissing greedily. So, yeah, that's, that's another interpretation of that whole aspect. <clears throat> okay, so that's the car Decarabia, and next week we're doing Sia. Uh, so I know Sia is uh, one of one of the favourites of a lot of people, so that should be a good. One. All right, so I'll see you then. Have a good one. Cheers for now. Bye bye.